I think we agree on is uh, is to support Israel. I did write a letter for the to the Australian recently, and I said all these what do they call them? The boycott and divest and whatever people attacking Israel. I said, well, they must take this further. If they're going to boycott Israel, they must boycott Israeli medical products. You must boycott all the pharmaceuticals developed in Israel, and you must uh, avoid all the medical equipment developed in Israel. And it's a wonderful experience being in Hollywood, because I was always a movie mad, because I used to haunt the old Victory St Kilda and the Palais St Kilda and love those, you know, the cereals and all the Tom Mix and Apollon Cassidy's and but I was always mad on musicals. The great thing about the time when I was doing Walsh and all that, there wasn't as much television, there was only the four, the two, the three commercial channels, the ABC. So all the shows everybody watched, Everybody knew who was on television. They recognised them, and, and, and it was a different thing. There was an aura about it. And now there's so much on. Nobody knows who anybody is, and you've got all these horrendous talent shows like Betty Davis, who pretended to still be smoking. She had a couple of strokes and whatever, but it presented itself like brilliantly with the, the whole thing, like that. Um, and she was marvellous. She told me that uh, about her affair. She's very open. And she said, oh, the love of my life was, was uh, uh, a, a director called, not Billy Wilder, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. And she joined me. She said, oh, he was my, the love of my life. When we made love, we made love on a bed covered with camellias. <laughs> oh, I said, that status, that sounds so romantic. I look across and there is May and she sits down and it's a green floodlight on her face. Well, she's been around about 300 years so she knew that was not good. So Mia sits down opposite her and she's in lovely beige lighting. So May, all 86 years of her, gets up, sashays around the table and it boom, did it boom, did it boom and goes like that to Mia, who went into orbit. Mia, I think she's still in so <laughs> Mia landed where she landed on me, and then May went like that into the city, and bay, in the beige pink lighting. I thought there's still life in the old girl yet. So he's sitting there and he looks and he says, Oh my God, it's Sean Canary. Oh, I can't believe it's Sean Canary sitting there today. I can't believe it. Well, what Sean didn't know is that there were a lot of Disney executives there and they came in and sat down and there's Sean chatting with this rather large gay man. So, at interval, they go out into the lobby for a drink and this chap's following, oh, I just love you in the movie, oh, Sean Canary, I can't imagine. So, they're out in the foyer having a drink or so and this guy won't be Sean alone. So the Disney people are looking and looking and rolling their eyes or whatever. And he said they, uh, when it came, they obviously thought Sean was gay, you see. So they thought, this is his friend, it's a flare, my God, this is the character he's with. So anyway, Sean didn't get the contract with Disney. But the very next week, he got offered James Bond. So he said, if I could find that rather large gay man, I would send him flowers every day of the week for him.